Hi folks and welcome back. I've been out here this morning doing a bit of cooking with Maggie and um, I thought it'd be a good opportunity for me to do a very short video on something I get asked a lot about and that is how to clean and care for cast iron. Now everybody has their own way of doing things so what I'm going to show you is just my way and I'm going to start with how to clean a dirty cast iron pot. So this is the Dutch oven I was using this morning to cook a lamb pot roast in. So it's suitably manky. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how I'd go about cleaning this and what I would do before I put it away and store it. So I've just simply poured some water into my Dutch oven. Um, it's important you don't pour cold water in a hot Dutch oven. Um, you know, put the water in while the Dutch oven is still cool. Let it come up to temperature. You shouldn't put any detergents, washing up liquid, anything like that in here. You just want to use water and bring it up to a boil and literally just scrape. I like to use a wooden spatula for scraping the Dutch oven, although you can get special utensils for cleaning it, you know, that are the right profile to sort of scrape around. I just find that, um, you know, a wooden spatula does the job just as well. You can use one of these chain mail scourers. These are designed specifically for cast iron and because they're made of little round rings, little links, um, there's no sharp edges. You know, there's nothing that can that can damage the, um, the seasoning on your cast iron pot. It's really important you don't use any metal implement that's sharp that could gouge into that uh, that coating um, because then you're just going to have to re-season it and it's a it's a real pain so just use wood or a plastic scraper or or one of these and um, just use that to loosen off any sort of hard to get off burnt on bits of food but i find a wooden spatula does the job perfectly And then once you're satisfied that you've scraped away all of the stuck on bits of food, just swirl that out and chuck the water out and then put it back on the heat to dry. And once you're sure every last bit of water has evaporated, just oil it. In here I've just got normal vegetable oil and I'm just gonna spray that in the bottom like this, plenty of it. And let that oil heat up. And then using a bit of paper towel, just give it a wipe. And what you wanna do is make sure that all the surfaces are coated in oil. And it's that oil that's gonna prevent it from prevent it from rusting and make sure that your cast iron lasts a lifetime as it should do. Just so make sure to mop up any any pools of oil in the bottom of your pot there. It wants to be coated but there doesn't want to be excess oil in there. And don't forget to do the other side. Same again, just make sure that it's completely oiled. And then you just need to put it aside to cool down naturally. If I'm going to be storing my Dutch ovens for any period of time, um, I like to put some rice in the bottom of the Dutch oven. That just absorbs any, any moisture that might get in there, either from, from the atmosphere or any moisture that might be in there when I, when I store it away. And a bit of kitchen paper. You can use either or or both. Um, and that just, that just absorbs any moisture. Now these Petromax Dutch ovens that I use have a little notch in the lid and there's another one in the, in the main casting of the, of the bottom half. And if you line them up, there's a little V on the lid. If you line the two up together, uh, it leaves a little hole. Um, and it's a good idea to leave that open um, when you store it. It just allows for a little bit of airflow. And if there is any moisture in there, again, it helps for that moisture to get out. If you haven't got that feature on your Dutch oven, then just get a bit of cardboard, fold it over a couple of times and pop that between the pot and the lid. That just keeps the, the lid ajar 
does the same thing. With regards to seasoning cast iron, you generally don't have to do it from new. Most uh, cast iron pots and pans come pre-seasoned, um, although they will improve over time. The more you use them, that seasoning builds up. So those oils, they build up, they build up in layers, and the better they get. You know, they, they become more non-stick, and they seem to just make food taste better the older they are. <laughs> um, but if you discover any rust um, on a cast iron skillet or a pot, um, you may need to um, re-season it. In that case, the best thing to do is to get some wire wool and just remove all of that, uh, that surface rust with the wire wool, give it a really good rubbing around, get rid of it all, um, rinse it well, dry it thoroughly and oil it. Coat it liberally with oil, just normal vegetable oil, turn it upside down and bake it in your oven at home. It's much easier to do it at home than it is in camp. You want to give it a good hour on a high heat and that oil will bake on and form a hard dark seasoned surface that will just get better and better the more you use the, the pot or the Dutch oven. While that oil is baking on, it'll smoke well, so make sure you open a window and it's definitely worth lining the bottom of your oven with tin foil just to catch those drips. And then once it's had its hour, turn the oven off and let it cool down in the oven and then you should be good to go. And obviously, you know, once you get back to using it again, it will just improve with each time you use it. I hope this has been useful. Um, it's, like I say, been a very, <laughs> a very short video. There's only so much you can say about, uh, you know, seasoning and, and caring for cast iron. Um, those are just the things that I do to, you know, to keep my cast iron in, in tip top condition, especially if I'm storing it, you know, for, for several months before I'm going to be using it again. It's always worked for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. <laughs>